backwards. Yeah, that to me seems like such a weird um, conundrum there because it, you know he says he doesn't want, he won't confess. He you know he'll he'll do life, but he won't confess to it. He wouldn't confess to you. But to right. me, his actions seem to me like he wanted to get caught. And I mean, what I mean by that is he's telling people his real name. I mean, he refuses to change up his his uh, you know the, the Volkswagen. He's stealing Volkswagens in Florida after he's been identified with them several times. It seems like he's making the same. He just kind of keeps on keeping on, almost like he wants to get caught, but then he's you know, completely, uh, you know, he'll deny, deny, deny when it comes down to it. So it, it was always weird yeah. to me. Well, you're right. Um, it is it is said of the sociopath that he or she, uh, interestingly enough, does not have the capacity to learn from his or her mistakes. <laughs> exactly. They are, you know, they're 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 very they're on one level. They're very shrewd um, uh, uh, students of the human condition because they, they have to m- mimic how other people act in order to get through life. And so if, you know, if you're not any good at it, you get caught and there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yes, and that, that was key to him. But to make your point even uh, stronger, Ted was arrested three times. Um after he became, or actually when he became and after he became a suspect, and all three times he was driving erratically late at night uh, in, in, <clears throat> in places he didn't, uh, he was un- with which he was unfamiliar, uh, and drew, thus drew attention to himself. Right. Uh, and in two of those cases, he was driving Volkswagen. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so he made the same a you know, fatal mistake at least three times. Um, and it wasn't because he was stupid. It's because these people are, or this person at least, was in, in the throes of, of a, 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 uh, a passion, if you will, um, and that he, 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 he was just reverting, to a, sort of like, sort of like a, 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 any predator that, you know, has done something successfully 50 times it's hard for them to change right um it was a demon was a, it was a demon he couldn't control right i mean he could not logically think through okay i need to change up my process it was such no, a strong emotional thought, yeah. feeling i think he did think of it but i think it was too strong yeah uh, for him. he he did really stupid things for sure. um and i you know i remember talking to him about that and he said he said, you know, this person uh, at times felt invincible mm. that no matter how how much he screwed up, he couldn't be caught. Um, again, there's the narcissism, right? Absolutely. But he, in his second escape from uh, the jail in Colorado and then his fugitive time down in Florida, he took all kinds of risks um, that should have gotten him caught. They didn't. Uh, until he finally engineered his own arrest for the last time in <laughs> Pensacola by driving a stolen Volkswagen erratically in a strange neighborhood. So there you go. I just feel like he would have lasted about three days in today's society with with the technology we have now and the social media we have now and the mistakes that he was making. He would not have had the opportunity to ultimately be what he was. I mean, he he got caught up in the perfect time, because to your point, there was no DNA. There, there was, it was local media. There was nothing necessarily nationwide at that point. Everything was segmented. He, he really got, he was really operating in the perfect time for what he was doing. I, I agree. I think that's, you know, that's, that's a key to understanding Ted is that he was presented with uh, a need, a desire mm-hmm. um, to essentially try, try to make real his fantasy world um because that's what they all are doing is trying to live fantasies out uh and he took he took what you gave him uh and in that case it was the anonymity of driving from small town to small town uh the lack of fear among people for, of, of strangers um i would say however that if you transported ted ahead 30 years or 40 years to today he'd be working on the internet uh, and he probably would be pretty good at it. Uh, 
because that's the new that's the new area of right. uh, of uh, opportunity. You know, he you know you can't approach you know young girls in parking lots anymore, uh, uh, and you're not going to get a lot of them walking alone down uh, uh, you know country roads. So I'm sure if Ted were back, if he were to be reincarnated. God forbid. Uh, he'd be a, he'd be an avid avid uh, uh, internet user. 